Good day everyone. This video is all about translating into variation statement a relationship between two quantities given by a table of values and a mathematical equation. For example, Lila and her friends organize an overnight swimming pool get-together. The total amount of 24,000 pesos was allotted for the resort reservation and car rental which would be divided in proportion to the number of attendees. Laila noted some possible amount of contribution in proportion to the number of attendees. See table below. So for the number of attendees, if there are 8 attendees, the amount of contribution per attendee will be 3,000. For 10 attendees, the amount of contribution per attendee is 2,400 pesos. For 12 attendees is 2,000 pesos each and for 15 attendees, the amount of contribution per attendee is 1,600 and for 24 attendees, they have to pay 1,000 pesos each. Based on the table of values that represents the given situation, let us answer the following questions. The first one, what type of variation does the table represent? As you can see on the table, for the number of attendees represented by variable x, the values are 8, 10, 12, 15, and 24. While in the amount of contribution per attendee represented by variable y, we have 3,000, 2,400, 2,000, 1,600, and 1,000 pesos. As x increases, as the number of attendees increases, the amount of contribution per attendee decreases. Diba? Nakikita nyo naman, nung 8 attendees, 3,000 pesos. Nung naging 10 attendees, bumaba po ng 600. So, from 3,000, naging 2,400. Nung nadagdagan yung number of attendees, naging 12 na sila. Ang amount of contribution per attendee, naging 2,000. Nung 15 ng attendees, naging 1,600. So, ah, habang tumataas po ang bilang ng attendees, bumababa na naman ang amount of contribution. So, this type of variation is called inverse variation. Because the two quantities involved are inversely proportional to each other. So, as the number of attendees increases, the amount of contribution per attendee decreases. So, the answer for number one is inverse variation. Since the situation illustrates an inverse variation, in order for us to find or determine the constant of variation, our formula will be k, which represents the constant of variation, is equal to the product of the of the values of the two quant or of, of the values of the two variables, or the constant of variation is equal to the product of the two quantities. So for instance, ang kukunin natin na pair is si eight at saka si three thousand. So for the variable x ang gagamitin natin ay si 8 and for variable y, gagamitin natin si 3,000. So, by substitution, we will have k is equal to 8 times 3,000. 8 times 3,000 is equal to 24,000. So, therefore, the constant of variation is 24,000. Now, in making a mathematical equation, since this is an inverse variation, so, if we are going to translate it into a mathematical equation, y varies inversely as x. So, kung gagawin natin yan, y is equal to 24,000, which is the value of the constant of the value of the constant of variation divided by the value of x. So, the mathematical equation that represents the table of values is y equals 24,000 over x. So, the relationship 
of the two quantities, the more the attendees to come, the less contribution to share. So, habang mas, uh, mas dumadami ang attendees, bumababa naman ang amount of contribution. And for our variation statement, y varies inversely as x. Another example, example number 2, you can finish 4 modules in 12 hours. The number of hours varies directly as the number of modules. What is the variation statement in the given situation above? So the variation statement of the given situation is T varies directly as M. Ginamit natin yung variable T kasi given po siya dito, 12 hours represented by variable T and M represented the modules. So ang variation statement natin, T varies directly as M. Now, let us answer the following questions. For question A, what type of variation does the situation illustrate? So, nasabanggit naman natin kanina, yung sa ating variation statement, T varies directly as M. Wherein yung T, it represents the number of hours and M represents the number of modules. So, since nandito naman na, nabanggit na directly, meaning, the type of variation the situation illustrates is direct variation. For question B, what is the constant of variation? Since the situation illustrates a direct variation, ang formula natin in finding the value of the constant of variation is equal to k, k which uh, represents the, the constant of variation, is equal to t divided by m. Again, si t po, ayan po yung number of hours and si m po, number of modules. So, by substitution, we will have k is equal to 12 divided by 4. So, si 12 po, ayan po yung given kanina, you can finish 4 modules in 12 hours. So, i-divide lang po natin, 12 divided by 4, k is equal to 3. Therefore, the constant of variation is equal to 3. For question C, or for letter C, make a mathematical equation. So, in making a mathematical equation, since this is a direct variation, so, um, since T varies directly as M, therefore T is equal to K times M. So, the mathematical equation natin, by substituting the value of the constant of variation, we will have T equals 3 times M. Now, let us translate the relationship between two quantities given by the variation statement into a table of values. So, yung situation 2 natin, Again, yung you can finish for modules in 12 hours. The number of hours varies directly as the number of modules. So, ang variation statement natin is T varies directly as M. Ngayon, para ma-translate natin siya into a table of values, mag a ako ng mga values for M. So, dito, for instance, ang pinili ko, naglagay ako ng 3, 2, and 2. 1. Para malaman natin or makuha naman natin ang value ng t, gagamitin po natin yung ating mathematical equation na nahanap po natin kanina, which is t equals 3 times m. So, lahat po ng values ng m dito, substitute po natin sa ating mathematical equation. So, for 3, if m is equal to 3, then t is equal to 9. If m is equal to 2, then t is equal to 6. And if m is equal to 1, t is equal to 3. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung value ng m, kapag bumababa ang value ng m, bumababa din po or nagde-decrease din ang value ng t. Again, since uh, situation 2 is an example of direct variation, as one decreases, the other quantity also decreases or the other variable or also decreases. So, dito, 
nagde-decrease siya. So, habang nagde-decrease siya, nagde-decrease din yung value ni E. Thank you for watching and happy learning!